And we are back. Thanks for staying with us. Joining us here right here on the couch is Adam Songbird. He's a Nigerian film score composer, singer, songwriter, and sound in designer. He's worked on several award-winning movies like King of Thieves, Battle on Booker Street, Ada Omodadi, The Prophetess, and so much more. In 2023, which was last year, Adam Songbird was nominated for the African Magic Viewers' Choice Awards, the EMVCA, for King of Thieves and Battle on Booker Street in the Best Soundtrack category. Hey, <laughs> we have an AMVCA winner with us. Well, nominee, actually. Nominee. Like, oh, yes. Okay. Well, you're a winner. The, the minute, yes. I mean, yes, sir. the AMVCA is like the Oscars yeah. here in Nigeria. So if um, a, a, an, an award, you know, winning um, um, body. body can acknowledge your work, it shows that you're doing something right. So talk to yes, us sir. about your journey. I mean, you've been doing this for over more than more than a decade than right much. and uh, i mean you've done songwriting singing yeah. film composing talk to us about which of these <laughs> started which of these okay. you started off with was it um, singing songwriting or doing it definitely film? definitely was singing okay. um way way back in secondary school actually and then um i think i was inspired by um, Big Bro in um, um, Infinity. If you remember Infinity, Lorioko. Oh, Lorioko, yeah. I was inspired by like a, a Big Brother to me. His okay. name is Kenny Corey. You know, to like oh. take songwriting like more seriously. Okay. I, really I am liked, a fan of Kenny Corey. Yeah, because I really like the way he expresses himself in his songs, and I felt like I want to be like that. Okay. Yeah, so he inspired me to like take more my take more songwriting um, serious, and of course um, then. I started working with Mike Abdul also. Okay. You know, who also put me through some um, some tips, you know, in songwriting and helped me hone my skills. So first it was singing, then songwriting, then of course um, developing skills in sound engineering and all that. So it's just been a long journey. It's been a journey. Yeah. And um, I know that um, you have two albums even yes. before you decided yes. to go into film. Yeah. So talk to, about, talk to us about that defining moment for you. For me. Yes. Okay. Um, well, um, when I started with uh, music and start, started dropping songs, it was almost like um, doing film soundtracks came along with it. Because not, not so long from then was when um, someone, like a film producer, discovered me and was like, can you do a song for my film? And then I did. And do you remember the name of the film? Yeah, um, Etiqueta by Said Balogun. Oh, okay, yeah. Etiqueta. I think that was Etiqueta. quite popular. Yeah, it was popular. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> it was popular. And then, you know, the sound became something everybody was talking about. And, you know... From there, other producers reached out. You know, I just started doing it, you know, on a low. And I actually found out that I liked it because I could sing about other stuff. Okay. You know, uh, uh, primarily I'm, I'm a gospel artist. So, you know, doing film songs, you know, made me tell stories or made me um, express other stuff apart from, you know, you know doing gospel music. So yeah. the journey just left uh, you know leaped or leapt or i don't know <laughs> i don't know it took, the a leap. it took a leap from there and uh, fast forward till i think 2001 or 2002 we did um, prophetess okay and that for me was like a shift it was like a major shift in your career yeah, so, yeah. now talk to us about you know um what what it takes to put together a, a song for a movie. Okay. So, for example, a movie like Prophetess okay. or Battle on Booker Street. Yeah. Um, Battle on Booker Street, watching it, you could tell that when it comes, the technicalities, you know, for the production was yeah. pretty intense. Yeah. You can tell that a lot of work went into it. Yeah. And, you know, um, so what does it take to put together a soundtrack for a movie like that? Okay. Um, first of all, some, so it, 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 it works differently. Okay. Um, sometimes it could be that um, we've had the script for the film uh, pre-production okay. and um, I have, you know, like a, an in-depth knowledge of what the film is all about. Now, I also try not to be, be too much of a storyteller, talky-talky in the songs, but 
mostly what I try to do is express the feeling of certain scenes where I know that these songs will be used. And, you know, I've, of course, I also work with a very good producer okay. and a film composer. His name is Tolo Banro. Okay. Who also helps in, you know, um, bringing the mood, mm. you know, to life. You know, so basically, it works in different ways. It could be that you have the script first. It could be that you just, um, someone just summarizes, you know, like a synopsis, yeah. what the entire film is about. It could also be that I watched like a preview copy of the film. You know, it could be anything. And sometimes none of these, they just tell you the title of the film. And you just go. You know, so like I, I, always, I always say that songwriting for me is, is not just writing a song, it's writing an idea. Uh -huh. You know, so when you're able to have, like uh, maybe, maybe the idea you have is my shoe, for example, and you just think about the possible, endless possible things that you can talk about a shoe. Mm. And then you just put it in a song. And then at the end of the day, you put it in that scene, it sits perfectly, okay. you know? So it's all about the, um, about creatively bringing in the emotion that you feel for that scene or for that title or for that story, you know, into play. Talking about Agashi Kole, yeah. King of Kings, <laughs> uh, you laughed because yeah. uh, the, uh, the, you, the, so there's a lot of um, intricacies yeah. with the production, you could tell. Yeah. Even from watching it, yeah. the sound, the attention to detail with the yeah. sound, yeah. Um, the drum sets, yeah. the, the fire from the eyes yeah. and all of those moments. Yeah. What did it take for you? What was it like for you, you know, having to, you know, create the sound for that, for, for that the production, film. for the film? Okay. Um, one thing that I, I realized over time is that um, it takes, like, a whole team to actually make a star. So I, I wouldn't take 100% credit, no. credit for, okay. you know, a lot of people like the, the attitude of the vocals and all that stuff, you yeah. know, so... So, but, you know, behind the scene, I had to work with, you know, big minds like uh, Mia Kimolayan, my boss, okay. and of, of course, Tolo Obanro. And we've, after seeing the preview of that film, you know, before it became what, what it is now, we had like a sit talk, oh, I think it should be like this. Of course, individually, we've had like our own like personal ideas about ah, when I'm doing an epic film, this is how I want, want to it. To sound. This is how I want it to sound. So yeah. me, I've always been a lover of you know Nigerian, um, African epic, and of course um, foreign epic films. So I've always had like this picture in my mind: heavy drums, aggressive vocals, you know, all that stuff in my mind. So when the opportunity came for me, it was like now it's time to live the dream. So so now. Understanding the character of uh, Ageshin Kole himself, he was um, always angry. He was always angry, like he... He was a terror. He was a terror, and, you know, he was out for vengeance, for blood. So I needed to express that, not just with words, but with, with, with the vocal attitude. Mm. So it wasn't just um, songwriting for lyrics or for melody. You, it was also for delivery. Yeah, character. it was also for delivery. So that's why... You could hear me scream at the at belt at the top of my voice, hey, Morel! Yeah. And then it felt like my voice was going to tear. But that, that's the, the feeling that I want the audience to feel when they watch. I'm like, oh. And then you hear the how ah. And then you'll be like, okay, something is about to happen. Yeah. So the, the, for me, it was, it was more about a little bit of proverbs, Yoruba proverbs there, here and there, that can just tell you that this guy is angry. Mm. And then more especially the delivery. You know. <laughs> well done, well done. I can Last tell year. that it takes a lot of work, and yes. I'm glad that we are in a, at a time where we have an academy that not just you know um, recognizes those yeah. in front of the screen, but also those behind yeah. the screen. You know, the entire production team, those putting together the work to ensure that this movie comes out yeah. really, really good. Well done. Thank you. Well Last done. <laughs> and uh, well, on that note, we have to head over to the kitchen. Okay. Yes. Our chef it smells nice here. It smells already. nice, yes, so let's <laughs> go.